Hey, what's going on? My name's Steve, and I've been selling on Amazon for over seven years. And in this video, I wanna share with you 10 tools that I wish I had when I started selling on Amazon. Because I tell you right now, if I had these 10 tools, it would have saved me a ton of time, it would have saved me a ton of money, and it would have helped me grow my business. Let's dive right into this video and get into the first one, and that's gonna be listing software. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they start selling on Amazon, and it doesn't matter if you're doing wholesale, you could be selling books, you could be doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, whatever it is you're selling on Amazon, don't sell on Amazon Seller Central. That's the, you know, the native platform to list and you know, sell your items on Amazon is listing directly through Amazon. The issue is it's slow, it's buggy, it's inefficient. It's just a big waste of time. What I would rather do is sign up for a third party listing software such as uh, Acceler List. I really like that. There's a bunch of them out there, but that's the one that I use. So that's, you know, the biggest thing that I can advise in this, in this video right here is make sure that you get a listing software. Uh, number two, scanning software. So I don't have my phone on me right now, but when I find a book or I find an item, what I used to do in the past was just buy blindly, right? Seven years ago, there weren't a ton of scanning softwares out there. You know, smartphones weren't as advanced as they were, and I'd have to kind of pick and, and buy things, almost guessing, or I'd have to go home and look it up. One of the tools that you really want is a tool called Scout IQ. I'll put a link, you know, on the page down below. But essentially, what Scout IQ allows you to do is to uh, scan barcodes with your phone. So you know how there's a barcode on the back of you know most books, most products. Um, all you do is you scan it with your phone and I'll put some video over the, over the screen right now to kind of show you how to do it. But you scan the barcode and what will come back and you can take a look at the screen and see an example is you'll see the listing price, you'll see what it's selling for, you'll see the profit, you'll see a rank which is essentially an indicator of how fast it's going to sell, right? So you definitely want to get Scout IQ. There's other softwares out there as well called Scoutly. There's also the Amazon Seller uh, app, which is free. It's just not as good. Uh, but you definitely need to get a scanning software. And that's something that I wish I had back then. You know, actually back then, the first thing I got was, uh, I forgot the software, but uh, I used to use a Dell Axum 51. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's pretty archaic now, but uh, we'd have to download the database of the information on Amazon, and then we'd have to... We'd have to stick this little laser scanner on top of it and scan. It was super inefficient. Nowadays, I mean, with Scout IQ uh, and even the Amazon Seller app, I mean, you're just light years ahead of where I used to be. Uh, the third thing that I wish that I had when I had first started selling on Amazon, I just didn't know, was a repricer. The repricing software that I like to use is called Reprice It. And I'll put links down below, so don't worry about you know trying to find it now. I'll provide everything that you need down below. But essentially what Reprice It is is a software where you can set up different rules and filters um, based on the number of sellers, based on the price, based on if you wanna be second in line, third in line as a seller, if you wanna undercut by a penny. You can set up all these different rules uh, for your prices of your items. Say you're selling, I don't know, say you're selling this printer for $65. If someone comes in at 64, your repricer could automatically come in and do $63.99. Or you could set up a rule for your repricer to say, you know, I'm not going to reprice because the rank is this high. It's selling this quick. I'm going to be second in line and get a higher price. So with reprice it or any repricer, there's a ton of them out there that you can choose from. You can keep your listings and your prices competitive. And I lost out on a lot of money by not having it. I think reprice it's like $15, $20 a month. If you're new, you don't really need it. But once you start getting a couple hundred listings or more, you definitely want to check that out. The fourth thing that I wish I had when I started selling on Amazon and ooh, I wasted so much time was getting a Dymo printer. This is a Dymo 450. Right here is a Dymo 4XL. The 450 prints out the F and SKUs, which are the little labels that go on the back of your products that help Amazon to identify your product and how much you're selling it for. They scan it in once it gets to the warehouse. Um, and this is the label printer that you print out to put the label on your box to send to Amazon FBA through UPS. So UPS could identify it, ship it to the Amazon warehouse, they open it up. And then, like I said, with the Dymo 450, there's the, uh, the F and SKU labels that identify the product and hold all the information 
um, that you put in through the listing software, whether that was through Acceler List or through the Amazon uh, Seller Central platform. But I wasted a lot of time. Um, what I used to use, and I have some examples here, is I used to use a Brother 2350 laser printer. I'll put a picture on the screen, which is great. It works. And I used 30 up Avery labels. Um, which essentially is just 30 labels on a piece of paper. When you list 30 items, you print all the F and SKUs. Again, those are the labels that go on the, on the barcodes. And then I have to manually place them on each item. Sometimes they'd be out of order. It'd waste a lot of time. With the Dymo printers, when you list an item, especially if you use a third-party software, it prints it out instantly. You slap it on the product, you put it in the box, and you're good to go. And right here, I actually have a, a, a box of board games. Oh my God, this is heavy. That is going out soon. So I'm still creating my listing. You might be able to see some behind me. But um, yeah, you put it in a box, you ship it off, and you're good to go. The fifth thing that I wish I had was something called Keepa. Okay, so I'll put some video on the screen. But essentially, Keepa is a, uh, a Chrome extension. It's free. Um, if you want to get a little bit more additional information, it's like $15 a month. If you want information on like uh, the sales rank and stuff, it's, it's well worth it. Essentially, what Keepa is is a software that helps you to see the, the pricing history through a chart over time, kind of like you know stock chart analysis. It's the same thing. Um, instead of just relying on the rank, maybe this book is ranked, you know, 200,000, it's selling for 40 bucks. Before you list it at $40, take a look at Keepa because it'll show you a graph of the history of this book. And maybe this book during textbook season, maybe it jumps up in August, September to $70. And right now, maybe it's June and you're like, all right, well, I'm going to hold off listing this for 40 and I'm going to wait a couple months till that jumps up to 70 because of the demand. Supply and demand causes prices to change. So by using Keepa, you can make better decisions when you're listing on Amazon. So I wish I had Keepa. You can check it out. I'll put a link down below. The next thing I wish I had uh, when I started selling on Amazon was a handheld scanner for when I'm scanning. So um, when you download Scout IQ or Scout Lee, whatever you use, when you're scanning books and you, you know, let's just pretend it's a phone, right? Even though it's a battery pack, which I'll be talking about. When you scan the barcode with your phone, you, you essentially could take a picture which is free just to take a picture, but it's a little time consuming. Whereas if you have a barcode scanner, you can go boom, 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 scanning through all the toys, scanning through all the books on the shelf very, very fast. So by having a held handheld scanner, this is a Natamu. There's a bunch of different ones out there, but this is the one I recommend. It's only like 60 bucks. Other ones are $100, $200. By having this, you can just put your phone down or you can strap it up to your wrist. You can actually get something on Amazon to just literally strap your phone to your wrist and you can just look at your phone on your wrist while you use the other phone to scan through the products. It's a big time saver. And again, this might not seem like a tool that's gonna to be life-changing and make you a lot more money. And it's not going to, but what it is gonna do is gonna allow you to save more time. So you're ultimately going to make more money by being able to process through more products. And whether you're doing retail arbitrage, selling or uh, sourcing books at libraries or garage sales, it's all about speed. It's all about efficiency because the more products you look through, the more profitable products you're gonna find and ultimately the more you're gonna ship to make money in your business. So definitely get a handheld scanner. It'll save a ton of time. Uh, number seven is a battery pack. I can't tell you how many times I've been out thrifting, sourcing, garage sales, and my phone dies. Oh my God, if your phone dies and you're in front of a ton of products that could potentially be profitable, it breaks my heart for myself. It breaks my heart for anyone else out there who has had to go through it. It's the worst thing. It's the worst thing when you're on like 10% battery and you're going to garage sales and you're trying to keep it charged. Ugh, get yourself a battery pack. You know, there's a ton of them out there. I'm not gonna recommend this one in particular because they're all pretty good. But keep your phone charged, have some battery packs in case you, uh, you know, you're ever in that situation. Uh, number eight, a larger vehicle. Um, I know this is a quite an expensive tool, but if you're looking to start a reselling business and you're serious, and maybe you have an opportunity to get a new car coming up soon, minivans, pickup trucks, just vehicles that have more space, even like Subarus that, you know, the, the, the seats fold back. Having a lot of space is key. And you might not be thinking that it's that important, but it really is because whether you're selling on eBay or you're selling on Amazon, um, you're gonna come across opportunities where you can just crush it with a, with a particular pickup. Um, there are so many times out there where I found hundreds and thousands of DVDs and books and CDs and I've had to go through so much on my journey. I mean, I remember one time I was uh, traveling, I was near New York coming back on a 60 day road trip. I actually documented on my YouTube channel why I traveled the country and uh, I think it was 90 days. 
and uh, I sourced and I shipped items to Amazon through, you know, um, out of hotels and I traveled the whole country. Well, on the way back, I saw a sign. I was like three hours away from my house and I'm like, you know what? I saw a sign for a, uh, I think it was like a, a state sale and I went to it and I found so many CDs. I ended up cleaning out this store, right? It was this person who had a store. They were getting rid of all the CDs. There were so many boxes that I couldn't fit it in my Hyundai Sonata. So I was forced to actually have this person put them all in a, uh, a minivan and I, I didn't even have anywhere to stay. I was traveling. So I had to find a hotel last second and all they had available was this one hotel in this small town that was disgusting. I mean, it was horrible. It was gross. It was disgusting. It, it stunk like cigarettes. And I was forced to, to ship all these items out to Amazon in that little hotel. And I couldn't take it. By four in the morning, I, I packed up as much as I can. Um, I ended up disposing of some stuff. And it. long story short, it was a nightmare. And it could have been prevented if I just had a larger vehicle. So if you have the chance, definitely look into one. Uh, number nine, again, this is going to be something that doesn't seem very important, but it is. You need some good quality shipping tape. I'll put some links down below. Uh, but shipping tape is not created equally. Um, some of them are thinner. Some of them are thicker. And I can't tell you how many times I've fought and struggled to get the tape off of the wheel. It gets stuck. Um, other times when you're, you're packing up your box, the tape will fall off. You really want to do your research and find tape that is strong, strong adhesive. Um, it's thick. I think it's called a mill, mill thickness, um, M-I-L and uh, just something that has good reviews. So I'll put some links down below and uh, you can definitely check that out, but get some quality tape. It's caused a lot of issues. And last but not least, a fast computer. Um, you know, recently I upgraded to, this is my old computer, it's, it's kind of beat up. But uh, when I was on Windows, my life was absolute chaos. There was always issues and viruses and things crashing and all types of problems. When I went Mac, I ain't never gone back. So I'm not telling you you have to get Apple. I'm just a huge Apple fan. And ever since I switched over, my life's been so much easier. But if you have a computer that's slow, that's inefficient, that's always getting viruses, that freezes, it's gonna make your life that much more difficult when you're listing your products online. So if you do have money and you're looking to invest into your business, eventually when you start turning a profit, get yourself a solid computer. Again, I know I know Apple and Macs are expensive, but for me, it was well worth the investment. Right now I use a, uh, a MacBook Air, which I think was only like $900. So this thing will probably last like eight years. So for me, it's worth it. Um, for you, if you're dealing with this, definitely look into a, a good computer. There's ways to upgrade it um, to make it faster as well, but definitely a good investment. So those are the 10 tools that I wish that I had when I first started selling on Amazon. These are 10 tools that have definitely helped me to become more efficient, to uh, make more money, to be able to save time, to scale my business. And uh, if I missed anything, or if you're watching this video and you've been selling on Amazon for a while, let me know, you know, what's one tool that you wish that you had when you first started selling on Amazon. It could be a software, it could be a tool, it could be anything random like a vehicle or a computer. But let me know down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that like button show some love, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful to be able to make this video. Hopefully this helps. If it did, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.